Thursday Night Baseball set to come your way from Fenway Park in Boston. Tonight, game two of this three-game series between the Cleveland Indians and the Red Sox. Welcome into Red Sox Baseball here on the show. Matt Bastergen here with you. Alongside me are Major League veterans Steve Lyons and Eric Carros. And Steve, let's talk about the two starters that take the baseball game tonight. Yeah, and you've got a couple of guys here that aren't afraid to challenge you at the plate. They're not afraid to let you put the ball in play and let their fielders make the plays behind them. That should take for a pretty good matchup. We'll hear more from the guys as the night moves along, but first, let's have a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Cleveland Indians, and they'll align themselves like this here tonight. Eduardo Rodriguez is on the mound here to face these guys. He's got the usual assortment of pitches, but keep an eye on him in the early going here. If these guys can get to him early, he does have a tendency to start overthrowing. And from there, that's when the problems usually arise. And in the field, the Red Sox will look like this behind him. Well, folks, uh, welcome back to MLB 15, the show. Uh, the Red Sox lost last night 8-2. to The Red Sox won, however, tonight 9-1 to as Eduardo Rodriguez went eight strong innings. Uh, Rusny Castillo is in right field as Jackie Bradley gets a breather. But the more important news, the more shocking news, is that Ben Sherrington has been relieved of his duties as general manager, and Dave Dombrowski, who was fired by the Tigers earlier this season, about a, probably a couple of weeks ago, has now been named president of baseball operations. Huge move by the Red Sox. Dave Dombrowski is one hell of a general manager. One hell of a general manager. Uh, and supposedly, Charrington was offered to stay on as general manager, but he declined. So, almost like, yeah, I'm the general manager, but I still have to, I still have to report to a boss, so why the hell, what's the point? Why doesn't he just, you know what I mean? Almost like you're the manager of a store, but there's a manager above you still at that store. So you're really not the top guy, so what's the point? But huge move. Huge move by the Red Sox. Hell of a fucking move. Uh, Dave Dombrowski's one hell of a general manager, so... He's a great, great baseball mind, and we're lucky to have him. And hopefully he can fix this mess of a team. The offense, however, has come alive in a big way. Uh, they only scored two runs. They scored two runs off a Cy Young caliber pitcher, so... This game is being played very late. It is 10.35 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Normally, I would have played this game at 7 o'clock. Unfortunately, a Percy Jackson uh, encyclopedia-type book came out today, and it took me a lot longer to read it than expected. Normally, I can finish those books, even though they're four or 500 pages, I could finish those books in three or four hours. Uh, this book literally took me... Got back at 3, 3 to 6, 3 hours, and then 7.30 to 10.30, 7.30 to 10.10, about 5 and a half hours. So, not not a fan of that, but it is what it is. So my entire night got fucked up. I still have to update Cookie Jam and play the new update. I still have to watch Scream on MTV, but that's, I'm going to have to figure out how to get that episode done now, downloaded or whatever. 
because it was already it's on as we're as I'm playing this. It's already been on for a half hour, so. Starting lineup for the Red Sox looks like this. This is the guy the Red Sox played last night in real life, and he shut him down. Lee Betts has a 29 game hitting streak on the line here. There's 30 in a row. Interesting thing about last night's Red Sox game with Matt Barnes starting. Started out just like real life, uh, just like in this game. Pitched well, uh, and then in my game, in the sixth inning, he just imploded. Gave up, ended up giving up six runs, or whatever it was, or five runs, or however, however many. And then in real life, in three and a third innings, he had the Indians hitless. He went three and a third hitless innings to start the game, and then in the fourth, he imploded. So, an inning earlier in real life, but it's a shame. Two innings earlier in real life. And Ortiz has been on a tear. Hopefully he gets a pitch to drive. That was big. Ron, you idiots. All right, got one in. Usually a 379 or 393 batting average would easily win you a batting title. 
Fortunately, Mookie Betts, at least for them, unfortunately, Mookie Betts is hitting four something. Uh, throw it away, and he does. That'll have another run score. That's a shame. Is there and he puts it away to stop the bleeding. So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate and they push across four runs. On to the second inning now from Fenway Park. The Red Sox four and the Indians nothing. Carlos Santana will stand in hoping for a reversal of fortune here as he's seen that average drop precipitously these past ten ball games. Your ball fastball in there for a cold strike. Well, you got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound. His guy's got him a four spot to work with in the first inning, so you got to figure he's going to be out there pounding the strike yeah. zone. Good changeup, okay. and it's 0-2. Yeah, that's a different pitch here, but also on the outside corner. Also taken for a strike. So he's got him in a quick 0-2 hole now. Now here it comes. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Another 0-2 home. Here's Sandoval now in third. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. And with that, we'll give you a quick look at our current standings in the ALE. John Gomes will stand in for the first time now, looking to keep that hot streak going as he's been hitting the ball well these past ball game. Well, trying to check his swing there as this is hit to the left side. Up with it there is Sandoval. Throw in time at first for round number two. Yeah, you can see he tried to hold back on the swing, but he already committed himself too far. It just becomes a waste of an at-bat and easy ground up. Lonnie Chisenhall will stand in. As this is pot foul behind the plate, it's strike one. Here it comes. Now here's a ball hit sharply toward the right side. And that's in there, so perhaps some life here with two men out. So runner at first here with two gone in the inning. 
And standing in is the shortstop, Mike Aviles. And the 34-year-old veteran looks at a called strike. It's 0-1. Ready? Now the pitch. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. There's one trade a day in Major League Baseball as the San Diego Padres traded Will Venable to the Rangers for uh, a minor leaguer and a player to be named. Two strike swing here as he's been fighting off some tough pitches, but the count will remain at 0 and 2. Oh, he lifts a high pop up, drifting into foul territory on the right side. Leading into the dugout, and he makes the catch. A great play there to record the final out. Indians lead one. They're on the short end of a 4 nothing score. Blake Swift will stand in, and you see what he's done over the past four games, as hot as they come. Swift. Offering on the way. Out in front as he pulls this one down the line at first. But this is foul for the first strike. And the pitch. Now a swing and a ground ball. Wow, I got lucky that that was fair. Wow. That was the latest fuck on that one. Boy, the hits just keep on coming here. You see the highlighted call right there. That's six against him already. And we're just in the second inning. Mookie Betts will stand in. He singled the lead off the home first. Roberto Perez will stand in now. 
He homered in the ball game last night. Took a little off, and it's in for a cold strike one. Now the pitch. And that misses downstairs for a ball one and one. Jeez. Finally. That's the first ball they've taken all night. About time, boys. Now a ball hit hard toward first. And the sliding attempt at first, but this sneaks by him a base hit. Jose Ramirez will dig in for a second time. A strikeout victim opening up the ball game. This is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. Slider, and that's in there for strike two. High strikes, probably not on the docket for places he wants to be. Yeah, I mean, it's no secret. You've got to keep the ball down against a team like this. If you go up every once in a while with a fastball, you'll be fine, but... You're not going to last too long if you make a habit of working up there with your secondary pitches. He'll try again, one, two. Now a ball mine to the right side. Oh, come on. Jerry Sands will try it again, set down on strikes his first time. And they go right after him on the inside corner for strike one. He's ready now. The pitch. Right field. Castillo in a few steps as he takes it. Two down. And no tag in second. He'll head back there with two away now. Michael Brantley will stand in with two on and two out here in the third. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's all one. A big uppercut there as he popped this straight up. And the Panda will put this one away, hitting the over. A golden opportunity to get on the board here goes for naught. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday Night Baseball after this. David Ortiz makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. Swing and a liner. Foul. And now a pitch on the way. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. And the throw on the first will take care of him. So he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One away. Angel Ramirez will stand in. He had a two-run single this first time around. And here's the first pitch. Now a swing and another ground ball. This one out to short. Up with it is Avilas. On to first and very quickly two are gone here in the home third. So two are gone in the inning, and we'll get a chance to see the free swinging Pablo Sandoval. Now the first pitch. Swinging the ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. Pitch on the way. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first, and the side is retired. Red Sox go down one, two, three. They lead it four to nothing. Back alongside Eric Harris and Steve Lyons, Matt Vaskirchen, as Carlos Santana will settle in to lead things off here for Cleveland. Here's the first pitch to him. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. So that pitch isn't going to light up the radar gun, but it's been effective. Well, it doesn't have to. If you get that good movement and put it in the right spot, it's plenty good enough to do the job. Now here it comes. Pinky held up in time, but that becomes moot as it's a cold strike two. Now the pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. 
and he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for round number one. Well, one thing you can say, he's showing a lot of composure coming right out. For a young pitcher, that could be uncommon. But, you know, he puts this pitch in a good spot, gets the guy to pop it up. Stepping in now, Jan Gomes. As this is popped foul behind the plate, it's strike one. Now here's the pitch. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground is short. Throw gets him, two down. Nickel in the merry-go-round. 
He hit that a mile. Michael Brantley 
Jones at the plate here as he clearly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. I like how he's approaching things here. He's got a good, safe lead, so he's not setting guys up for wasting a lot of pitches. He's coming right after everybody. Wait. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. A strike away now from getting through six shutout innings here, and that's no small feat against this lineup. No runs, three hits, and one error in the ballgame for Cleveland so far. Hit hard toward the right side, and that'll get down for a two-out single. Carlos Santana will step in now. He's bounced out and flown out in his first two plate appearances. And that's in there for strike one. And now you got to regroup after the two out single. You're in a dangerous spot in the lineup, so it is not over yet. Not by a long shot. Pretty well hit. Deep down the line and right, but that's back into the seats. Foul. Oh, two pitches swung on and lifted in the air to right field. We'll reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. One left for the Tribe. They need to get something cooking here. It's 7 nothing. Rusnik Castillo will stand in for the third time now. Still without a hit, so that streak could be in a bit of jeopardy. And I think that's in the back of his mind, but it's not something he's really focused on. He just wants to get up there and put a good swing on the ball. Now some action out in the bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander begin to throw it. First offering on the way. And that's by him, it's 0-1. Now here it comes. Oh, this is hit hard towards second. And a leaping effort at second, but it's over his glove and could be extra bases. And he'll round it and try for third. The relay throw, and he'll get there as he legs out the leadoff triple. Mets could have a cycle. I think he just needs to hit a double. Oh, that was Rusey Castillo. Oh, my bad. My bad. I thought it was Betts. He's able to scamper over there and he leg out the triple. stand in now. He singled and struck out in two trips. Now the first pitch. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. center field gap. And he is into second base with an RBI double. Everybody's getting the react now. Why right on the heels of the triple? Because he was the double of his own. That's going to extend that lead out even further. Mookie Betts will stand in again as we flash you back here to the fourth inning. This was a two-run home run. Definitely one of the big blows of the ball game to this point. And here's the first pitch. And that's taken for strike one. That look says it all in the third base dugout. That's not the look of a guy who's going to be sleeping well tonight, is it? A ball hit hard to the left side. And that's in there. Base hit. And they'll put the brakes on at third. Runners at the corners with nobody out. I tell you, that one's coming in fast. But it's going out faster. Does he square this one up or what? There he goes. pitch and bounce one foul for the first strike. Runners leap from first and third. Here's the pitch. Now a swing and a ground ball.
comes set, now the pitch. On the ground is second base. This could be two. Avinas for one. Back to first, so they get the double play, but the one does come in the score. Well, this is a potential rally killer right here. If you get one run, but it costs them two outs in the process. That would have been another home run if I had waited. Now here's the pitch. And this is hit hard on the ground for short. Up with it is Avilas. Throw in time and the side is retired. So two runs on three hits. No error and no one left. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Red Sox nine and the Indians up the Welcome back to Fenway Park here in the great city of Boston. This one pretty much all over, but the shouting as we check our game summary to see how we've gotten to where we are. Jan Gomes will lead it off here in the top of inning number seven. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. and oh. Good tailing fastball for a strike, one and one. Here's a guy that understands. It's all about getting on base at this point, so good idea there just to wait for strike one. And he makes good contact there, but this is going to find the stands foul down the right field line. 2-2 Two -two pitch on the way. Now here's the ball hit hard on the ground for a short. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. We get a look there at his pitches by inning. He's at 81 now after that last pitch, so he should be good for a little while longer. Lonnie Chisenhall will step in, a ground out victim as last time. Now a ball bounced towards the second baseman. And boy, just about overshot his man at first, but he's able to keep a foot on the bag over there, and that's out number two. Boy, this guy's got to believe back in the very first inning, and he hasn't looked back since. He's had everything go his way so far, and this inning's turning out to be no exception. Mike Avilas will come forward now. He's popped out and struck out in his first two plate appearances. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Yet again, another first pitch strike. And it's a big reason why he's having the success he is. You establish the count in your favor right away, and it just opens up the door to so many more options going forward. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Uh, this will get foul for strike two. The pitch. Foul back. Two out, nobody on. 0 2 once more. Good wood on it there, but foul, so they'll do it again. Here comes another 0-2. Hit hard on the ground is short. Throw to first in plenty of time when the side is retired. Indians go down 1-2-3. They're down 9 to nothing. Austin Adams will come on now in a mop-up role as he'll just try and keep this deficit from growing any larger.
see a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen up in the bullpen. Here's the first pitch to it. And this is hit hard up the middle. And that's through a base hit. Bumper over the deep pitcher. Hasn't given him a whole lot of relief. Back-to-back -back singles now since he showed up. And he's in a pack of trouble now. Pablo Sandoval will stand in. One of the few guys not to join the hit parade so far. Here's the pitch. 
Fastball runs off the outside. It's one and one. And now pitch on the way. And this is pulled foul as he was way out in front there. Now the one two. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. Throw on the first, gets him, and the side is retired. Blake Swift will lead things off here in the bottom half of inning number eight. Now here's the first pitch. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground at first. And they'll take this to the bag of three unassisted for the first out. Ricky Betts will dig in. Steve Homer back in the fourth. Here's the first offering. That's lined in the left. He left that one up. It's a base hit. You want to talk about getting on top of a high fastball? I mean, to call this at the letters, that'd be charitable. This seems about neck high, but he still drives it for a base hit. Brock Holt will stand in one more time. Fortunately for him, he'll get a fifth chance here to extend that hitting streak. Yeah, he hasn't had the same success the rest of the guys have, but it could all change in one time. First pitch coming. And a swing as he pulls this one into right. It's coming to his inning short. Oh, wow, it's an E9. He doesn't get a hit. That's a shame. It's a productive out. You get the man to third, but 
He hits it to the left side. It's a complete waste of an at bat. Here's Carlos Santana now, standing in from the right side as he takes strike one. I know we have a tendency in the media to get hung up on pitch counts, but this is a legitimate workload he's sweated through so far. Yeah, anytime you get up around that 110 mark, you put in a full shift. In fact, hold on now, that ball is down and could score a run. The throw to the plate. And the runner will score from second. first is they can't make the play on it. Lonnie Chisenhall will step in, a ground out victim as last time. Here comes Sox manager John Farrell on his way out to the mound. And he's looking to the bullpen here, so it would appear that's all for his starter tonight. So a strong performance here as he worked his way into the ninth, but he'll let the bullpen try and close with the final two outs. Keith Embry will come in now working with a huge lead, so he'll just look to get some work in here. Wrong pitch. Jesus Christ. Keith Hembry is awful in this game. Awful. Wow. 
I clinch the AL East with this win. Clinch the division. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. You knew the you know the drill. Um, we'll see you next time.